Good morning from Merville Barracks in Colchester for what is a once in a generation event, a day of military pomp and ceremony and a day of huge significance as well for the parachute regiment the presentation of colors to the three regular battalions of the parachute regiment the colors which are the reason we're here today today are largely seen as ceremonial flags for parades but many years ago they were absolutely central to battle. And so the old colours of each of the three regular battalions of the Parachute Regiment are marched off the parade square for the final time. When a colour leaves service like this, uh, it is taken to a memorial chapel and left to fade into time. And we see the arrival of His Royal Highness, Colonel-in-Chief of the Parachute Regiment for more than 40 years. The Prince of Wales heads to inspect those on parade from 1st Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. The Prince clearly taking the opportunity to have some reasonably lengthy conversations. He does have, as I say, a long history stretching back with the Parachute Regiment, having been uh, appointed Colonel-in-Chief in 1977. The new colours, the reason that everybody is here today, be they on parade or sat watching, those new colours will be presented shortly. The colours brought forward, they remain cased. There is a little more be done before we see them unfurled. The Chaplain General, the Venerable Clinton Langston, who will shortly conduct a blessing for these most precious of regimental possessions. We, following this ancient and honoured custom, stand before God this day to ask his blessing on these colours and to pray that they may be an abiding symbol of our duty towards our sovereign and our country. Now we see the uh, colours handed to the ensigns for each of the three regular battalions of the Parachute Regiment. goes from 45 degrees to upright it is formally presented and now an address from the colonel in chief i must say i find it hard to believe that it has been 44 years since i became your colonel in chief and nearly 50 years since i made my first parachute drop initially upside down with my legs in the rigging lines into Studland Bay, Dorset, where I was uh, hauled out of the water by the Royal Marines. The colours I present today on behalf of the Queen continue to symbolise your loyalty and distinguished pedigree, of which you could all be justifiably proud. Soon you will march off the square and will parade with your new colours for at least the next 20 years. 
whether I shall still be around to present you with new colors when the time comes remains to be seen, but I look forward to what the future brings you. There will be challenges, and you will meet them as you always have done, with the same grit, determination, and care for each other that were the hallmarks of your founding fathers in World War II. You drink with Paratus. We see the start of a fly pass as the national anthem plays. Now, the ceremony is almost over, but as you can see, there is uh, something a little more highly visible in the square. And if we look to the sky, there is another aircraft incoming. As this is the parachute regiment, you can probably work out what is about to happen next. Now you may notice that the last person to join the parade is carrying something and what you see is the prince being presented with a denison smock this is a historic garment for the parachute regiment the ceremony is over but a hugely significant day uh, for the parachute regiment the presentation of those oh so important colors to these airborne warriors